In this video, I'm going to show you the newly buffed Goku to see if he is the best raid character to currently get. There are currently a few of the raid characters in the shop right now. Uh, a few of them are permanent. Six of them are always permanent, but you can also get Blue Devil or Rin and also Goku. Now, in my previous tests that are a bit outdated, um, I tested every single character and a few tests and Goku did not do very well. He was the 33rd best and I didn't even test the best ones. While Rin was 27th, he was better. Rin was better than Goku. And that also stands true for no pets and no gear at all. Rin was 26th uh, and Goku was 36th. I did not test Goku with Celestial and the best gear in the game, but I did test Rin and he got 4 and 8 million. However, these tests are outdated and these tests are my new ones. So I'm gonna try to see if Rin and Goku can compete with the best raid character and so on. Also make sure to subscribe, you can check out my spreadsheet that I just showed in my description in all my videos. It has a lot of information about characters, fruits, and pets, and you should just check it out. Other than that, there is a two times raid token event for like two days, maybe f just on the weekend. Make sure to grind as much as you can throughout this event to just get as much many raid tokens as possible. I will not do that because I have not played this game in like two weeks. Uh, if you exclude the time I played on the update video, because I do not play this game anymore. It, it's not fun for me, in my opinion. Uh, it, it just doesn't have any content at all. So the first ability is a dash. You can see dash. It is pretty far. It is pretty far. One thing to keep in mind with this, it is a 10 hit combo, but if you hit it really weirdly, you won't get all the 10 combo. You need to hit it so you're always near the boss and you will always get the 10 combo. If you're too close to the boss and use it, you're not gonna get a lot. And if you're too far away from the boss, you're not gonna get 10 combo either, I think. Maybe you will... No, not all, all of it. But you have to stand about in the middle here to just make the boss get here. It has 9x damage, so basically 1, 2, 3. The third ability is 1x, that's what the game counts. like. If you see 10x damage from pets, that's 10x damage from the third hit here, except if the character has a different M1 move. But yeah, that's 9x with 80 energy gain. That's honestly pretty good. The second ability has more damage. It has 12x damage, so it's stronger. Also, it's very fast, has pretty good AoE, and yeah, it's just one hit combo, but 12x damage. If you don't crit, it's not the best, so you have to have good crit chance with it. 145 energy gain and it does reset the first ability. So if you use the first ability, then second ability, then you can use the first ability again. So it's a pretty good move. The first and second abilities were pretty fast, but the third ability is a bit slower here. It does, however, have 18x damage, so it's pretty strong. 230 energy gain as well. And yeah, you, you can't really do much with it. It's just a pretty slow, but okay strong move. The fourth ability does reset uh, your dash cooldown basically you won't have a single dash cooldown uh, well except for the end lag or whatever. Uh, if you have the accessory you will also have it for 10 seconds but the damage is 25x it's pretty strong it is pretty slow though and has 520 energy gain. The assist does the same effect as the, uh, as the regular fourth ability. You will have no dash cooldown. The damage is 7.5x and it's not a very good assist, honestly. I did not test Goku's move prior to the buff, uh, so I can't know how much he's been buffed. But the assist did not get buffed at all. It's the same damage. I don't know how much he got buffed on the energy gain or damage throughout the first and fourth abilities. Now, when playing at difficult dimensions, you have bad gear relative to the HP of the enemy. So basically, you don't one-shot enemies, you have pretty low damage. Goku has pretty good mobility, but he doesn't have the best damage, but he's still pretty good. He's not as good as Black Asta, the best raid character, but he is better than all the gem characters. He does actually perform pretty good. When playing a dimension, but you don't have like the best gear or the worst gear, just a regular dimension, you have uh, the same level cards as the dimension you're playing, probably gonna beat the dimension in a bit slower than I did, but then he's actually doing pretty well. He doesn't do as well as Gems on Yu Wu though, so the best gem character is better than uh, Goku, but he's better than all the other gem characters you can get, so out of them all, you could actually get Goku for dimensions anyway. When using bad gear in a raid though, so you don't have any good stuff, you just have your recurrent cards, no accessory, anything like that. Basically when you're beginning, then he's actually pretty good. 
He is better than all the gem characters. He's not as good as Black Asta, but he's really close to him. He's better than a few of the Roblox characters, but worse than most of them. And he's not gacha level, but he's one of the best raid characters. If you like characters playing raids, if you are a beginner and for sheep. And if you're playing a uh, raid with pretty good gear, you have gotten a mythic pet, maybe a, a mythic accessory, maybe a few stuff that help you deal damage, then he's actually also really good. He's not as good as Black Asta with Kurumi because he using Kurumi actually isn't the best because the second ability resets the first ability, but if you use the uh, second ability, then the first ability, all the Kurumi uh, cooldown things will be uh, wasted. It, you would understand if you have Kurumi, but he's not the best with Kurumi, but still better than all the gem characters at least, and better than the same Ro Robux characters, Ichigo, Aizen, and Ruko that it was before. He activated 5 Garo pets in about 63 seconds, and that's not the best, it's actually slower than if you would just M1, so his energy gain is not that good, but he does have pretty good damage with Garo pets. Now he gets about 2.07x more damage while using Garapet compared to while not using Garapet while using all some bad gear. Alright, I just did not need pity. Um, that's pretty lucky, honestly. But anyway, if you don't know how I have so many trade tokens, you can watch my videos on that. I have like two videos on it. It's very easy to get trade tokens now. Even if I don't play, I can get them easily. Ooh, and also Spine is almost at 333.33 billion. Dang, he's the best right now. Probably because none of the better players are actually trying right now. But Spine is like one of the best anyway, so yeah. I also tested the old tests with uh, Goku just to see how much better he was. And in this test, the bad gear test, I did not get a lot of Goku before. I got 34 million about, and now I get like 45 million. It's a huge increase if you don't have any good stuff. If you have good stuff and use Garo and everything like that, not the best best stuff, not the best assist, not the best traits, but have Garo pet, have good stuff, then he's not that much better than it was before honestly because his energy gain might be bad but i don't know he did about 350 million before and not too much more now just about 400. with the best gear in the game and raids he was actually really good he could now use garo pet and like i said before he benefits a lot from garo so he did actually really good he is not that much worse than black asta maybe 10 percent worse than black asta and that is not bad, and it's probably less than 10% worse. And yeah, Black Asta was the best character in the game, or best character, raid character in the game, so Goku being that close to Black Asta is actually really nice. And when speedrunning though, he just doesn't have really fast moves to use. Unlike other characters who has worse um, movement than him, because Goku does have good mobility, they have like fast moves you can move around with them with good aoe goku has three and four which locks you in place with pretty bad uh, aoe and you don't have any movement with them the second ability is not movement based at all the first ability is only dash but yeah the aoe is not making up for it so he's not that good at speed running though playing the highest dimension he was pretty good at because he does have okay mobility and the damage when using the best stuff in the game and just in general the damage being pretty hard to just kill the enemies in the highest dimension so but Goku having high damage it just makes up for it he had it very nice very close to Black Asta he was also just slightly worse than gacha characters like Kurumi now you can see the overview here his damage energy gain cooldowns and effects and also how he performed in all the different tests, exact the numbers. Otherwise, we can just check on the list here. If you have bad gear, Goku is actually not too much worse than Black Asta, and he's always going to be better than the permanent gem characters. So Goku is a very good character, actually, and one of the better ones to get. Now, I did not test Rin, but he is probably better than Rin here as well, because Rin is not that much uh, that that close to Black Asta and Goku right now is really close to Black Asta. Though he's not on a really good Robux uh, character level or Gacha level, but he is better than the gem characters, so you can definitely get him. And the same story goes with basically the other raid test as well. He's always better than the gem characters, but slightly worse than Black Asta and not on Robux or Gacha level um, 
just in general in raids. Same with the best skin in the game, Celestial Trait, Garopet, and everything like that. He's not better than Black Asta, so Black Asta is still better. But he is better than Rin, still. And also better than the all the, all the uh, gem characters. So, in general, Goku is really good. And if you don't have Black Asta, which you cannot get anymore, so if you didn't get him on that event or when uh, the limited time was here for Black Asta, then Goku is actually really good and the better raid character to get right now. Unfortunately, Goku is always worse than Black Asta and Dimensions as well, though same drill here basically, he's almost always better than the gem characters except for one exception here with gems on Yumu, and then maybe on speedrunning. He does have okay mobility, it's just that his AoE and just how fast he can use moves, the third and fourth abilities take a long time, is not the best, even though he does have the infinite dashes for 6 seconds, they don't cover that much ground if I'm being honest, a good dash just covers more. But when it comes to the level dimension, the highest level dimension right now, um, he is actually pretty good. He's better than Kurumi and Freyron and King Asta, still worse than Black Asta, it's running theme here, and worse than Kokushiba, but better than Rin, he is really good, he's got a bit better than all the gem characters probably, and he, that under 2 minutes is a very good thing actually. His pet energy gain is not the best, he doesn't have that fast energy gain, as you can see some of them have like 50% better energy gain than Goku, but he does have pretty good synergy because he can spam the first ability after using the, or he can use the first ability after using the second ability, so say you use 1, 2, 1 and then it resets, you can use 1, 2, 1 again, and that's a lot of energy gain, a lot of damage, and then you can use the third ability to get it back, and he can cycle very good with Garo, and that's why he benefits about 2 to 2.07 times more, he gets about 2.07 times more damage if you're using Garo pets compared to no pet at all, uh, and no stat buff. It's also slightly worse than Black Asta when it comes to burst damage, so in boss rush, in speed raid, and just quick succession of damage, he's slightly worse than Black Asta, though better than a few other characters. It's not his best test because he can't really use a lot of moves because his third and fourth abilities are actually pretty slow. And his assist is unchanged. It's what uh, where it always has been on materialists, and that's pretty low, I believe. It's really low. Yeah, you can see here one of the yeah it's uh, tied worst raid assists in the game at 0.1x DPS. So that's literally not a lot, a lot, not a lot at all. In 10 seconds, you get the same amount of damage as you get in one M1. That's not that much, right? But in general, Goku is much better than Rin in basically all aspects of the game. Goku is now one of the best raid characters in the game, almost at the same level as the current best raid character in the game, Black Asta. And that's insane, and you can't get Black Asta and you can get Goku. So if you want to get good at the game fast, I would definitely get Goku. Not as an assist, but as a main. If you don't, if you only have like a gem character, Goku is gonna be better. If you already have a raid character, then it depends, but yeah, you could definitely get Goku. However, the smart thing to do would be to get maybe Rin first, Blue Devil, because we don't know how long this is going to be for. Um, th there is a risk that this character, the Goku character, is actually going to be less time than Rin, that Goku is going to be the next update and Rin is going to be the update after that. We don't know that. But yeah, you could get Rin, honestly, but yeah, actually, the best thing would be to get R Goku, honestly. He's much better, and yeah, the only thing, the reason you would get this is if Goku would be uh, uh, going away f before, but that's just for stat points and you risk him getting uh, going away before anyway. So I would get Goku, he's actually really good. Other than that, I do not really play this game anymore, just so you know. I'm making a video about me playing 1000 boss rushes, a video of us getting 1 trillion damage, and then I'm just gonna make a video on why I think Anime Dimensions is falling apart. So I have three big videos upcoming, but I don't really play this game anymore. So comment down in the comment section if you want to see any other games, and if so, what. Other than that, check out my spreadsheets if you want the information I just gathered and all the other information I have. Uh, subscribe, give away 35,000 subscribers, and yeah, hope you enjoy the video and see you in the next one.